You work in the Kyoto Protocol process with the creation of the carbon market and acted as a lead author of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, which received the 2007 Nobel Prize. Now you've been global thermostat, a carbon negative technology company. What are the next frontiers for the sustainable uh, industry and what kind of challenges will you face in the near future? The challenges, <coughs> the challenges of innovation are all internal. They are about redefining success so that it doesn't become acceptance, but it becomes what needs to be done and what brings in the right future, what creates the future. We are in the process of creating the future. We can create the future. We have to create the right future. That's what innovation is all about. Very often, it's not recognized, it's not rewarded. That's why I'm very surprised that I was found, uh, my company was just uh, uh, selected as the world's top 10 most innovative company uh, listed in Fast Magazine in Silicon Valley in the field of energy. I was very surprised. Not because it's not innovative, because when you do a lot of innovation, you know that you don't get rewarded. You get punished. Therefore, I must be doing something wrong for getting all these awards. <laughs> so again, you have to disassociate yourself from the, <clears throat> the normal award system in order to be able to do innovation. What needs to be understood is that Capitalism is now somersaulting, transforming itself. I, you just pointed out an example, the carbon market of the Kyoto Protocol. Indeed, I designed that and I wrote it. I wrote it myself in the Kyoto Protocol in 1997. It became international law 2005 and is now trading over $300 billion a year and is meant to be one of the largest or the largest commodity market in the world, very soon. It's a financial market. It's a financial market that is critical for sustainability. Which is responsible for 30% of the global carbon dioxide emissions. And fortunately, China is moving uh, to a more to a greener business environmental record. But what do you think about the next uh, frontiers in the sustainable business, uh, um, according also to the fact that international regions and Chinese market could be also uh, interested in improving their uh, green awareness? Very good question. China has the probably the worst environmental problem of any country or not. At the same time, through the carbon market and the green development mechanism, they were the recipients of billions of dollars, 50 billion dollars, for projects that were reducing emissions, out of which they created their renewable energy infrastructure and industry and in a few years, 10 years, they became the most important exporter of wind and solar equipment, revolutionizing the solar um, energy field in the process. That means that the financial market, the carbon market, created the financial incentive that allowed China to take a direction that favored China because they are the biggest exporter of wind and solar equipment and the entire world because we benefit everywhere from the incredible drop in, crisis, in prices from uh, that solar equipment, particularly portable tech. What's the lesson? The lesson is that that type of innovation that combines finance with technology 
is the solution in all visions, particularly in the developing countries, and China is no exception. What revolution do we need? We need to grow in China and the rest of the developing nations carbon negative power plants. This means sources of 